Good day my lovely viewers, welcome to today's episode of What is Trending. My name is Angelo Himalayas, your usual anchor. Today is D-Day, yes, when I say D-Day, if you're in Nigeria, even other parts of the world, you would know what I mean by D-Day. Today is a day set aside by the tribunal to lessen and ascertain the extent of damage of the petition filed to it by the Labour Party and its presidential candidate and its assistant talking about Peter Gregory Obi and Yusuf Dettibaba Ahmed over the um, inconclusive and unacceptable results of the just concluded 2023 elections that took place on the 25th of February 2023. Now, um, the news is they are now in court. Yes, I will bring you a footage showing their entrance in court um, um their settlement in court and and the way they want to like take seats and try to start proceedings and so on i told you i'll bring you updates as time goes on now um while i bring you the footage in court i would like you to have in mind so we we'll draft out the main issues here what are the main issues that have been put down in the petition and have been filed to the tribunal now the presidential election petition tribunal has been set or has been brought forth to today due to one or two hitches according to the judiciary but what we fail to understand is why the judiciary has been playing hardball and delaying the proceedings until today being the eighth day of may 2023 i would call it delay tactics if you ask me but let's not talk much because uh, we have lots of things on our table to discuss on this particular footage right now coming to the court first of all the counsel to peter obi and labor party talking about dr levi uzo Uku. he is the one lawyer that or the one constitutional lawyer that is said to be a very explicit and excellent expert when it comes to tribunal cases and um when it comes to petitions okay Dr. Levi Uzoku is known for his um uh, for his absolute mitigation and um, excellent dispense of justice and his job. Of course, he has a mastery of whatever he has studied, and um, there are news everywhere that says he has never lost a case for once. So we'll see how well he will defend the LP and um, their presidential candidate. Then um, the counsel to the APC and the Independent National Electoral Commission counsel to the APC representing Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinobu, the president-elect, talking about um, Dr. Latif Fagbemi standing in for uh, the APC and then um, talking about um, Mr. Abubakar Balarabe, who is the counsel to the Independent National Electoral Commission. Yes, and of course, present in court will also be Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, the INEC chairman, and so on and so forth. All these legal practitioners are said to be senior advocates of Nigeria. So, there are names and there are famous names in this tribunal this time around. It's left for us to see what happens. Let me not talk much. Let me allow you to um, take a brief into um, the tribunal and watch the video. It's no longer news that today is the day the tribunal has set to um, really rule out the verdict and um, really bring out the decision of the judiciary over the inconclusive results of the presidential election held a month ago. Uh, in court are uh, the counsel to Peter Obi and Labour Party and then the APC and the INEC and then um, also other members of uh, the court. I can see um, Akpapa Lamidi here who has been parading himself as the Labour chairman but we would hope to see if uh, the proceedings can start in no time. Now um, before we um, get off from this place I would like you to really have in mind the petitions or the prayers in full the prayers that were filed by peter ob and the labor party against the INEC and um, the apc now the prayers in full that although peter will be prayed the honorable court to the first of all as a first petitioner 
he prayed, um, of course, the prayers are five and they divided into two main prayers and three alternative prayers. The first one said that it be determined that at the time of the presidential election held on 25th February 2023, the second and third respondent, which is APC, talking about Tinubu and Shetima, were not qualified to contest the election. Secondly, still under the first prayer, that it be determined that all the votes recorded by or for the second respondent in the election were wasted votes owing to the non-qualification of the second and third respondents as Tinubu and Shetima. Thirdly, under the first prayer, that it be determined that on the basis of the remaining votes after discountenancing the votes credited to the second respondent, the first petitioner Dr. Obi scored a majority of the lawful votes cast at the election and had not less than 25% votes cast in each of the last or the least um, two-thirds of the states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, and certified the constitutional requirements to the declared the winner of the 25th February 2023 elections. Then the second prayer says that it be determined that the second respondent, having failed to score one quarter of the votes cast at the presidential election in the federal capital territory, Abuja, was not entitled to be declared and returned as the winner of the presidential elections held on 25th February 2023. In the alternative to two above, it says that an order cancelling the election and compelling the first respondent to conduct a fresh election at which the second, third, and fourth respondents shall not participate. Now, in the alternative to one, two, and three, there is also a fourth prayer that says, for one, that it be determined that the second respondent was not duly elected by a majority of the lawful votes cast in the election for the office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, held on February 2023. And therefore, the declaration and return of the second respondent as the winner of the presidential election and law lawful, unconstitutional, and of no effect whatsoever, then, um, that it be determined, secondly, that based on the valid votes cast in the presidential elections on February 2023, the first petition has scored the highest number of votes cast at the election and not less than one quarter of the votes cast at the election in each of the least two-thirds of all the states in the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, and ought to be declared and returned as the winner of the presidential election. Then, finally, on the second um, alternative prayer, Finally, it says, an order directing the first respondent to issue the certificate of return to the first petitioner as the duly elected president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That is that. Then the final one says that it be determined that the certificate of return wrongly issued to the second respondent by the first respondent, which is INEC, is null and void and be set aside. That is that. Then, um... Finally, that is further alternative to one, two, and three, and four. There is um, a fifth one that says that the presidential elections conducted on 25th February 2023 is void on the ground that the election was not conducted substantially in accordance with the provisions of the Electoral Act 2022 and Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended. Secondly and lastly, finally, an order cancelling the presidential election conducted on 25th February 2023 and mandating the first respondent, that's INEC, to conduct a fresh election for the office of the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Well, you've heard it all there. And um, these are the prayers by Peter Obi to uh, really bring forth before the tribunal and um, see which way the tribunal can go as regards the unacceptable results produced by INEC. We'll continue to bring you updates. Don't forget, stay glued to Nations Voice Tower. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome back if you're just joining us. This is still Nations Voice Tower. I, I allowed you to watch and um, listen to that documentary there by me because um, um, right now I think we are getting ready 
for a historic time in the um, history of Nigeria. We're getting ready for a time that posterity would never forget. A time when um, the generations to come would have it embedded in their minds that on a day like this, the petition, um, actually uh, the petition headed by um, some group of judges, either did positive or did negative to influence or to bring a sort of succor and hope to the citizens of Nigeria over time after a long while of suffering. Let's not um, forget the fact that um, Nigerians have put their heads into this starting first of all by gearing for a change of government. How did they do this? They came out in mass to exercise their franchise and their civil rights by turning out in mass to come and vote their preferred presidential candidate on the 25th of February 2023. But um, Nainek uh, shocked the whole world when Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu was announced as the winner of the elections, which Nigerians and other international observers deemed unfit and deemed really uh, wrong to be announced, even when the results were not yet collated. These evidences are available in the public space. So, don't forget to like our videos, don't forget to subscribe. If you are an incoming subscriber, don't forget to tap the subscribe button and also tap the notification bell. See you in my next video because I'm going to bring you the next update from the Supreme Court.